I'm Dr. L. Peabody Grote, Jr., Director of Clinical Research at the Grote Center for Sleep Disorders. Our center is involved in the study of adult sleep disorder induced by childhood trauma, or ASDICT. We have found that many patients who complain of unrestfulness have repressed painful childhood episodes, which later seek expression in the unconsciousness of sleep. I'd like to show you several case studies. Well, I'm always so tired and I'm being incredibly forgetful. I sleep seven or eight hours, but... But you don't feel rested? It's like I'm always dragging and I can never... Sleep this woman rest. is a classic ASDICT sufferer. We placed her in our sleep chamber for observation. The patient is a journalist, single, highly intelligent, and generally well-adjusted. She drifted into stage one sleep normally. But when the patient entered REM sleep, she seemed to be in some distress. She then began to assume a series of unusual body shapes. Eventually, we were able to determine a pattern, realizing that in fact, the patient was spelling with her body. Through subsequent interviews, we were able to discern that the patient's mother was a former spelling bee champion who had relentlessly pressured her daughter to follow in her footsteps, dooming her to spell out nocturnal messages of regret. This is ASDICT, or Adult Sleep Disorder Induced by Childhood Trauma, and the cause of the patient's forgetfulness. This patient complained of painful soreness in the legs upon waking. These aren't cramps. My legs are sore, and it's hard to walk in the morning. Our interviews unearthed a disquieted past. The patient had learned early in life that being entertaining is an effective method of being noticed when you're in a family of 12 children. We decided to videotape the patient with night vision. A little after 2 a.m., somnambulistic, attention-seeking behavior could be observed. We then discovered the source of the patient's leg soreness. He continued to entertain for 38 minutes. I'm the third from the youngest, and I'm here every night. Stay away from mom's view. Da, 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 da. We dubbed this phenomenon Habituated Attention Mechanism, or HAM. A third example, Mr. Milner, please. A third example involves a couple's bed boundary issues. This couple had a different type of problem. I would just feel more relaxed if I could hold you when I sleep. I know, but I need my own space. I, I don't want to feel all bound up. They were utterly normal. I was confident we could cure them. We placed them under sleep observation. The woman fell asleep shortly after the man. At one minute intervals, no unusual activity was discernible, other than the fact that they seemed rather static sleepers. But as we accelerated the observational frame rate, an interesting psychomotor dynamic between the two became evident.
they had not understood that their unconscious identities could self-liberate with greater ease than their conscious personas would ever allow. When shown evidence of their nightly tenderness, the patients were pleased. Mrs. Milner, Asdict is clearly a significant psychological phenomena, perhaps even as important as dubus or disappointing offspring ballet affectation syndrome, discovered by Dr. L. Peabody Grote, Sr. Thank you.